Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Object. In today's video, we're going to be going over spy baiting and why I always have one tied on. All right, guys, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're going to be talking about spy baiting. And if a lot of you guys don't know what spy baiting is, it's a, a finesse style, it's not a jerk bait. It's not really, I guess you can consider it somewhat of a crankbait. I don't, I don't know what you would consider it as and when it comes to the hard bait lineup, but um, it's a very versatile bait. Um, there's, there's so many different ways that you can fish this bait. This is why I always got a tide on. When I fish from Mount Lake, it's a great bait just because, you know, you're, one minute you're fishing 10 foot of water, next minute you're fishing 50 foot of water. Um, you can go over tops of brush piles with this bait. And kind of let it now i will say like in the video here this doesn't just suspend real slow like a jerk bait does you know or some sink slow sinking uh or some jerk baits just flat out suspend or some float up just don't do it it sinks and it sinks at a pretty good clip but what i do like what spro did with theirs is it's got that real good flat bottom but it also just it sinks like this and then when you're cranking it, when you're pulling it in, like I say, you got your your little propellers here on the front and back. Uh, and like this one here, it's got the red ones. I like that. I love red in a bait, but it also has this little lip here. And that helps cup water a little bit. It helps pull it down a little bit. Or, you know, it also gives it a little bit of a of an action like a crankbait, but not a lot. Like, you know what I mean? It don't give that, that wobble like that. But it gives this bait... A lot of action when it's when it's coming down and like see in a video uh, as it's coming through the water it kind of it kind of rise like this but like I say as soon as you pause it at things and it's gonna just come on down and as it's coming down the, the props are spinning a little bit so but also another one I like to use this one's by Rashi um, this is this was actually the first ones I started throwing uh, this is the 80 the Rashi 80 or Rashi 08 sorry and it's got it's got a good a good fall rate too. Actually, I like this one's got a little bit slower fall rate than the Spro. Now I have not used the uh, um, the the Duo or, or Duo or whatever you call it, the other brand there that actually really got this started. I haven't really used those, um, but so far I have loved using these. And like I say, around Smith Mountain Lake, you got a lot of docks, you got a lot of uh, brush piles, you got. Uh, a lot of rock bluffs stuff like that so these baits here i always keep on especially coming into the fall right now we're in september you're getting into that transition area uh we actually had a, a good cool night it was 50 it was 59 degrees so the fish are going to start doing that move back into the creeks and you know a lot of it too is the, the light uh it's getting darker quicker so they know it's time to move they know it's time to start moving back there so these baits here with the bait fish moving back there, they're standing in the middle of the creeks. These little thing, these little baits right here are perfect too to throw over those if you see them schooling up, working it through and just letting it sink through that school of bait fish because there's fish sitting under there ready to feed on them. Um, but like I say, coming by the ends of dock poles, you can, in, or the sides of docks, you can work it a little bit and let it float down beside the floating docks. Um, if you're on a rock bluff, you're casting down the edge of that rock bluff and you're just letting it sink down. Like say some of our rock bluffs, you're going down 100 foot of water. I don't let it sink that far, but you know, into the 20s and 30s, I'll, I'll let that thing sink right on the sides of those rock bluffs. So this is a very versatile bait. I always have one of these tied on. Uh, pretty much the only time I don't is probably gonna be early, early spring uh, when I'm mainly cranking and, and jerk baiting and, and stuff like that. But other than that, summer through the fall and in the winter, I have one of these baits tied on and it does really well. Now my setup is just kind of like all my other finesse setups. This is a, a small finesse bait. Uh, it don't, you don't want to go with heavy line because for one, it messes up the fall of the bait. Uh, if you want a little bit faster fall, you can go a bit bigger line, but I like going with a smaller line. Um, but this is eight pound Invisiex fluorocarbon. Uh, I always got it on braid, Smackdown braid with an FG knot. And then I'm just throwing it on my finesse jig rod. Now I got a lot of these Falcon Expert rods uh, in the finesse series um, because, like, say for uh, Flick Shake, 
for uh, shaky head. Uh, I have their drop shot rod, but any other thing like uh, I, I like finesse cranking. I love using this rod for finesse cranking, but I also use it for my spy bait. But like you like you see in the video, uh, I did some comparisons with both baits uh, with the Spro Spin John and the Arashi Spin. It's um, it's a little bit of noticeable comparisons when it comes to fall rate and action in the water. So, but like I say, these are my two two of my favorite baits to have on in the fall. Um, great bait love it so um take your choice there's a lot of other options out there on the market not saying these are the best ones on the market but these are the ones that i really like to throw so make sure you check them out i have the links in the bottom of this video uh, i have the links for everything that you've seen in this video product uh, from my line to my rod um, and all that so but guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit the like button and uh, we'll talk to you later guys see you